Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's hard to believe, but 2023 is already coming to a close and it is time to ring in the new year. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some really simple and easy DIYs and just tips and tricks to throw a really fun New Year's Eve party on a budget. Everything in today's video is going to be from Dollar Tree and I'm even going to have some free printables. So be sure to stay tuned for the whole video. And if you're not yet subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you join us for the new year. Before we jump into the DIYs, I just wanted to share everything that I picked up at Dollar Tree. So these foil balloons were one of the first things that I grabbed. I like to get these every year. I think for $5, this is a great bargain. So $1.25 each and they're just really fun to put out. They make for the perfect party prop. You can take photos in front of them. You can hold them up for photos. They're just really great and they definitely set the mood for a party. The next thing I grabbed were these party horns. Now, of course, these are perfect for a New Year's Eve party, but the thing that really caught my eye were this was the exact color pattern I wanted to go with for my party this year. And that is one of my favorite tips. Just pick a color pattern. So for me, it's gonna be gold, silver, and black and just find all the things at Dollar Tree in that color pattern and it will all go together and it's going to work perfectly. So speaking of gold and silver, I found these large cake topper numbers. Now, these were a new find for me. I have never seen these at Dollar Tree. These are of course perfect to go into a cake, especially if you plan on making a cake for New Year's Eve, but I actually have a DIY coming up later on in the video for these numbers. The thing I wanted to grab were some plates in my color pattern. So I went with gold and black, and then I did pick up these gold chargers. And again, I do have a little mini DIY coming up for these. Of course, I had to grab some of these black napkins. And if you have seen my New Year's Eve videos before, you might know what I plan on using those for. I did also grab some balloons that were black and this gold tray. Now this tray to me is a top Dollar Tree find. This is so sturdy, it's beautiful, it will work for any holiday, so definitely pick one of those up if you can find them. Now I also got some of the plastic champagne cups. Now you can of course get the glass, but I'm gonna be using these ones here for a DIY, and I needed four of them, so I just figured it was a lot more cost effective to get the pack of six then buy four individual glass ones just for the DIY, but of course you have an option. And right around this time of year, Dollar Tree tends to get a lot of these mini glass sparkling juice bottles. These are perfect for a party. They are alcohol free. And I actually have a free printable coming up that's going to be a customized label for this one. Also grabbed these ornaments for a DIY. And if you are shopping right now at Dollar Tree, all of the Christmas stuff is 50% off. So hopefully you can find these for a really good deal. And I'm just gonna be using the white, gold, and silver for my DIY. They do also have pink, but that's okay. I'll just save those for a future DIY. I found this vase filler in the floral area at Dollar Tree and I thought it would be perfect for this video. And I also did pick up a bag of sand. Now this is gonna be for a DIY. They had a few different colors, but I just went with the white sand since it was nice and neutral. Now let's jump right into the DIY. So to get started, I just wanted to open up our foil balloons and blow them up just to kind of set the mood for the video. But also if you guys have not seen these before, I just wanted to share with you how easy they are to fill up. They come with a straw, you just have to insert it and then you just fill it up with air, which makes it really easy. And they are self-sealing. It's how they look when they are all filled up and they just make for the perfect party backdrop. First DIY, you just want to grab that gold tray and those plastic champagne flutes. Now I'm going to be putting them together. All you have to do is just snap the bottom on and four fit perfectly on this tray. After you have your four glasses, go ahead and grab the sand. We're going to disperse this evenly between the four cups. DIY is so incredibly simple and only takes a few minutes to put together, but it turned out to be one of my favorite DIYs from the video. So after you have your sand in, you want to grab your vase filler. Now, if you can't find this exact one, go ahead and grab any kind of vase filler that Dollar Tree has. They have a lot of different options. If you can't find any, just grab some glitter or confetti. Really anything will work for this. Now, once you have your vase filler in, get those big numbers. These are the cake topper numbers that I found in the party area at Dollar Tree. And all you have to do is just add them into your glass. It is that simple, but this makes the most beautiful decor. It's perfect if you just wanna put something out on your table, or it makes the perfect centerpiece for a buffet if you are going to be putting out food. And here's a closer look at how it turned out. Thank you. 
I think it's just fun to lay these party horns on the table, kind of just as decor or table scatter. And then at midnight, everyone can pick one up. But if you want to display yours a little bit nicer, grab one of the glass vases at Dollar Tree and one of their glass candle holders. All you have to do is glue them together using a permanent glue like E6000, and you have a really simple elevated vase. Now you can go ahead and just put your party horns in the vase. They are nice and neat, and at midnight, everyone can go ahead and grab one. But I'm actually just going to leave mine out on the table for now because I want to use this for our next DIY. So I actually made two of these. I like to use these for all kinds of holidays. So I usually have some of these elevated vases on hand. And all I'm going to do is just add my ornaments to my vase. It only takes a couple of minutes to put together. The ornaments kind of remind me of the ball that drops at midnight. So they're perfect for New Year's Eve. But also, since we are just coming off of Christmas, a lot of stores have have these on sale right now so if you can't find them at Dollar Tree definitely check a lot of different craft stores they are going to be really discounted and they do make perfect New Year's Eve decor I'm going to be sharing a really easy place setting so grab one of the gold chargers at Dollar Tree and a black permanent marker now we are going to turn our charger into a clock so just to get the placement right I'm starting off with 12 3 6 and 9 and then I'm gonna go ahead and just add some little lines for our other numbers it is that quick and easy. Now, if you have a cutting machine, you can definitely get really fancy here and use that to cut out your numbers and transfer them onto your charger. But if you don't have a cutting machine, a marker works just fine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start to layer my plates. So I'm adding one of the black plastic plates from Dollar Tree and then a smaller gold one. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab those black napkins and this is one of my favorite party tricks for New Year's Eve. Grab a black napkin and some ribbon. Go ahead and just accordion fold it, cinch it in the center with one of those ribbons. Just make sure you tie it into a knot. Then you can go ahead and grab your scissors and just finish off those ends of the ribbon with some curls. Now you have an extra fancy bow tie napkin. It's just really simple, but it adds a beautiful touch to any place setting. Always like to make extra napkins like this and just scatter them throughout the table as decor. Now, if you are going to be having people over for New Year's Eve, you cannot let them leave empty handed. So I have the perfect party favor for you that's only going to cost $1.25 each. And the only other thing you will need is a free printable from my blog. So I have this label here on my blog. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure to leave it linked down below. And this is going to fit that little sparkling juice bottle from Dollar Tree perfectly. All you have to do is just hot glue it to the bottle. Double-sided tape also works really well for this. I did print mine out on cardstock. You can just use regular printer paper, but the cardstock is a little sturdier and it just holds up a little bit better. But this is such a nice party favor for your guest. On it, it says, wishing you a happy new year, 2024. These are also perfect to make if you are planning on having some kids at your party because they are just sparkling juice. So that way they can still partake in the festive Activities and have a really fun time. This bag of balloons from Dollar Tree comes with 20, but we're only going to need 12. So I'm going to be blowing up eight of them, kind of small, just like this one here. And then four of them are going to be larger. Next, I'm going to go ahead and grab a gold Sharpie paint pen and just start to write my numbers on my balloons. I'm also going to need one of those plastic plates from Dollar Tree and just some paper. It's a piece of scrapbook paper that I already had and I'm just using the paper to cut out the hands for my clock. So one's a little bit smaller than the other. Tape them to your plate and then you can attach your plate to the wall and then assemble your balloons in a large circle like this to create this extra large New Year's Eve clock. Now I do want to warn you, the balloons can be a little bit tricky to keep up. I used painter's tape at first, which did not work. Then I switched to masking tape, which kind of seem to keep them up but if anyone has a better suggestion please let all of us know down below in the comments this next diy is actually one that i shared last year but it's so fun so i want to make it a yearly tradition it's a really fun new year's eve activity and all you need for this are the free printables that are on my blog that are going to be linked down below so when you head on over to my blog and print them out you're going to see three separate papers so the one is going to be these here these are going to be the advice cards then you're also going to have one that just kind of has the directions on it and then the third printable is going to be the advice jar label so i'm going to go ahead and show you how everything works but these are just a little fun advice and wishes for the new year's cards so each guest at your party will fill one out 
So to get started, I'm just going to go ahead and take my first free printable here that says advice and wishes for the new year. And I'm just going to cut it out with my decorative scissors. And I did print everything on cardstock. Now the next thing you need for this is a jar to put all of the cards in. This one here is from Target. It's just one that I already had on hand. But if you do not have a jar, do not worry. You really don't need one for this. Anything will do. Then just pick up a large plastic bowl from Dollar Tree. This one here is from Dollar Tree. I did get this one last year. I'm not sure if they have the same print this year, but just head over to their party area and they have those large clear bowls as well. And those will absolutely work for this. Just go ahead and tape the advice and wishes for the new year sign right onto the bowl and it will work exactly the same. But since I have the jar, I am going to go ahead and use that. And this is just for new year. So I don't want to go ahead and glue it. I'm just going to be using some tape to attach it to the front. Now this second free printable here, it just has the directions on it. It says, please fill out a card and put it in the jar. And you're going to see that it is printed at the bottom. And that is just so you can bend it in half and basically just make a little card stand that will stay up on its own. And again, this is cardstock, so that's why it's sturdy enough just to stay propped up by itself. And the third free printable is gonna be this one here. And there are two advice cards for every paper. So you just wanna make sure that you print out enough so each guest has their own card. And after they fill it out, they can go ahead and sign their name on the bottom or a fun activity is to just leave it anonymous, fill out all of your wishes and advice, put them in the jar and then after midnight read them all together and try and guess whose card is whose and it's just kind of fun and it's a really great way to kind of have an icebreaker and bring in the new year is everything for today's video i really hope that you guys enjoyed these and i want to wish everyone a very happy and healthy new year thank you so much for watching today's video but also for always coming back and subscribing i really do appreciate it so much i am very excited for the new year and i think it's going to be the best one yet don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the new videos coming up this year.